Well, I come from Croatia, which is a small country in the um, southeast of Europe. It is uh, definitely a country without a visible Jewish uh, presence. It uh, does have a Jewish history. Well, the reason why I came to Revel is because it offers an outstanding academic approach to Jewish heritage, textual heritage. And uh, in the same time, it is invested in the continuity, which is uh, an aspect of, uh, an important aspect of Jewish tradition that I really do care about. I came here um, trying to see where my career in academics is going to best be furthered. Um, I waited several options in Europe, Israel, and I came to a conclusion that Revel is definitely offering the best, the best combination of factors that I'm interested in. Altogether, will be 12 courses so far that I've taken in Revel, uh, all of which have been really contributing a lot to my insight um, and helped me grow uh, in breadth and depth towards the knowledge that I pursue. My primary focus so far has been medieval Jewish philosophy, but I'm moving towards the modern, uh, somewhat influenced by the, by the younger, uh, younger members of the staff here, uh, who, who, did, who really did a good job uh, persuading me to look into a modern, modern concepts, modern problems. Everywhere from Moses Mendelssohn to Levinas. I'm also very much interested in medieval poetry, in Kabbalah, Hasidut, um, Jewish aesthetics, uh, Jewish art, synagogal art. All these things really do um, provide an additional facet and overall make, uh, make this um, involvement with um, Jewish studies uh, fruitful and colorful in the same time. I have been involved in, in several things that are outside of the academic uh, purview. Uh, most of them work associated with cultural management, um, anywhere between you know just concerts, music, um, festivals, and um, a lot of nonprofit educational work as well. Um, that was mostly done in Europe and mostly in Croatia. When I was in Croatia, I used to teach Jewish philosophy, although the, the course itself was named uh, Classics of Jewish Thought. Um, it covered a very uh, wide array of uh, Jewish thinkers, well, everywhere from Philo to basically to modern, modern Jewish philosophers of the 20th century. Um, it's been um, a great experience those four semesters. I had to uh, really exchange a lot of novel insights with people who otherwise didn't have any exposure to Jewish thought and their interest, the interests of student and the larger, uh, larger uh, student body was very much uh, a part why the, the whole thing was organized and set up. At Travel presently I'm concentrating on my doctorate study which will consist of uh, additional coursework and the other requirements for uh, the proposal and then writing the thesis. Um, so far, this uh, experience has, uh, stimu has stimulated a lot of um, creative thinking in terms of how to implement the, the somewhat abstract and aloof academic discourse and studies in its own world of ideas to a world where most of people live in, so to speak. I would not say that there is one um, stereotypical profile of people who find themselves studying here. Um, there is a more prevalent type of student body, nevertheless, although my experience with colleagues and sharing the same space in the classroom has shown me that even within that, uh, within that stereotypical veneer, there is so much of individuality and, and creative thinking uh, going on. I think the ideal rebel student is anyone who is ready to be challenged and who does want to challenge others in the new ways of thinking about Jewish heritage. What I'm thinking more is like how do you approach the text and how do you approach tradition versus like being on one, on one end being yeah. on a, being
when it comes to class, classroom setting, uh, a dominant prevailing trait of professors in Revel is to really be curious and almost on the edge to learn from the students themselves. And if Revel is anything, it's a learning community where both teachers and students investigate, explore and learn from each other. And that's what makes it quite unique. Evo, baš se dolazim iz knjižnice. Našao sam dobre knjige, pa ti hoću samo reći da Levina sa... I do keep a correspondence with my friends abroad, especially in Europe. And it is a very interesting thing to have continuous dialogue coming with people who come from different standpoints in life and with seeing things from different cultural lens. Leaving the medieval Jewish philosophy behind temporarily and focusing on modern Jewish philosophy, I realized that uh, I'm really deeply interested in four major themes and the way they play out in Jewish sources. One would be loneliness, and the other one would be the notions of self, the third one would be a notion of dialogue, and the fourth one would be this dynamic vitalistic theology that has been developing in the, late, in the 20th century.